our quest for justice will continue. The pattern is same. The timing is also after the Lok Sabha election. You can interpret with the some kind of resurgence of a particular political party in the particular among the particular voters. These are all the trend is clear, pattern is clear, where from they are and they are getting encouragement, all these are clear. The custodial debt of the private use is being questioned by a section of Google's media. You see, uh, every every death is unfortunate, but if somebody jump on, I cannot help them, but I must say that every death is unfortunate. And I, I have also asked police to inquire the incident properly, but our quest for justice will continue. We will bring every other uh, person involved in this crime to the justice. So you talked about 23 cases which have been held in these areas. What can you tell us about the vulnerability that you see in these areas? Particularly? No, the pattern is same. The timing is also after the Lok Sabha election. This is this you can interpret with the some kind of resurgence of a particular political party in the particular among the particular voters. These are all the trend is clear, pattern is clear, where from they are and they are getting encouragement, all these are clear. So these are the challenges which Assam has to face near future. And our people has to be strong, our people has to be united, and we must identify who is our friends, who is who is our enemy. Are this increasing crime, particularly in the minority dominated areas, are also leading somehow to the death of the demographic shift? You see, I have seen again and again that in 12 to 14 districts in Assam, we are in minority. The trend is simple. They do those kind of, they basically initiated this kind of activity so that our people live and come out of that place. This is not crime against, uh, this is not crime against women only. This is links to the encroachment of lands. Because once this, these are, com these uh, uh, activities are done, the next day people started feeling insecure and they leave that area. This is the pattern they are doing it for last 10-15 years. First you institute a crime, instill a sense of insecurity among the Assamese people and they start leave one by one that area. Now thing what has happened? There is tremendous pressure on the local Assamese to leave that area. That was, you know that Dhing was the bird, Dhing Bhattadraba is the birthplace of Mahapurush Srimanta Sankardeva. That entire area once, 90% Assamese people used to live. Today the Assamese people has been reduced to 10%. Because of the continuous criminal, criminal activity, people are leaving home, people are selling lands, and the other people, other section of people are occupying the place which is being vacated by the indigenous Assamese people. If you look at the situation specifically in Dhing, last few years, there are continuous pressure on the uh, local Assamese people of the Dhing to leave the place. And this incident of rapes, this incident of molestation are only not linked with the crime against women. These are being used as a weapon to get the land vacated by our indigenous people.